When did you appoint yourself my personal voice of doom? I mean, Whitney, every time I do like the least little thing, you're there to tell me the sky's falling. Least little thing? Yeah, Ethan committing adultery last night with you in this very building. I'm so sorry I overreacted that way. But, Whitney, nobody knows about it, okay? Jerry doesn't know, so there's no reason for things to get out of control. Just because Jared doesn't know, doesn't make it right. You know what? This is going to end badly. And, and, and the sad thing about the whole thing is that you know it is. Why don't you help me here? Okay, but you help me. I, I don't know what to do, all right? Ethan wants to be with me. He wants to spend his life with me. Or you should have seen him last night. No lies, no excuses, him just wanting me, and then him actually acting on that impulse. Can you spare me the details, please? I'm just confused here, okay? Please, Teresa, I'm begging you to stop and think, okay? Stop this selfish game you're playing. You can't keep both Ethan and Jared on leashes. Do the right thing for a change. Let Ethan go back to his wife and start a new life with Jared before tragedy strikes your life again. Can't you try to be just a little optimistic? I mean, maybe after all these years, Ethan has finally seen the light. It's funny that you say that because I was actually thinking the same exact thing about you. You know, I've been both witness and accomplice to your destructive schemes ever since high school. But I thought maybe, just maybe, you had finally given up on your obsession. But say, Whitney... No, is it really Ethan that you want, or is he just an excuse to make the pot boil over? Because I swear, half the time, your real obsession is making drama. Oh, that's not fair. Well, no, think about it. Think about it from my point of view. You have a job with huge responsibilities. You have children. And yet all you think about is the excitement of luring Ethan away from his wife. Now, I thought you would wise up. And you were ready for a semi-normal life with Jared. He's wonderful, Teresa. I know. He's really. smart. He's funny. He would be so great with your kids, but... He would be great with your kids, but you wouldn't ever let him in. What do you do? You turn your back on a semi-normal life. So that you can start trouble again with Ethan? That is what I call tempting fate. But you know what? You go ahead. You keep on stirring the pot. You wait. Tragedy is going to hit your life and the lives of everyone around you.